In the recently released series called Dirty John, Eric Bana plays a charismatic cheater and a manipulator, John Meehan, better known as Dirty John. The series was created by the popular crime case from 2017, written by the LA Times journalist Christopher Gofford, who has told the story of this criminal and his relationship with Deborah Newell. What is so interesting about this man is the fact that he decided to turn the story into a show. Watch our video to the end to find out the answer. And just be careful because spoilers are on the way. The story of this case and the series talks about Deborah, an interior designer and a single mother who meets John on the internet. They start to date and their relationship soon leads to their wedding. Soon, however, she discovers that John is hiding a very dark past. As Gofford says, the lesson that we learn from this story is that the monster does not always look like an actual monster. You have to admit that in this series, the character looks very, very handsome. Eric Bana and Connie Britton play the lead roles in this series. The series, especially at the end, slightly changes the story of John, so here you can find out the real version of exciting events with us. The story of a man who terrorized so many victims. John Meehan apparently learned how to be manipulative from his dad, and according to his sisters, their father showed his son how to commit crimes. He trained him to kidnap and ransom insurance. He also taught him to lie and cheat. And as a teenager, he allegedly threw himself on cars and put broken glasses in his served food to get money from people. In high school, he attended Prospect High School in Saratoga, California. Meham understood that his intelligence, combined with his attractive appearance, was a magnet for women and the possibility for shortcuts. And according to John's mother, his first problems with drugs appeared when he was still in high school. In 1988, he graduated from the University of Arizona and began studying law at the University of Dayton. It was there he was given the nickname Dirty John because of the many affairs he had with women and his scandalous behavior. His college buddy Kevin Horan mentioned in an interview that he talked non-stop about his conquests with women and bragged about how he took money for doing nothing or how he used fake names and credit cards or even rented a moving truck to his girlfriend that didn't have working brakes. In 1990, John married Tony Sells, an anesthesiologist nurse who, according to the Los Angeles Times, helped him complete a nursing education and an anesthesiology school in Tennessee. The couple had two children, but after 10 years, Meehan filed for divorce. Meanwhile, Sells discovered that he was stealing surgical anesthetics and called the police. Meehan was calling her and threatening her, saying that he will take her life. It was said that he also stole pethidine from a patient in the operating room. So, John lost his job at the hospital and in 2002, he admitted to stealing drugs. Despite this, he tried to escape from the punishment, for which he was sentenced to six years in prison, but only served 17 months eventually. After getting out, the first thing he did was set up profiles on dating sites to find his next victims and steal money from them. He met businesswoman Deborah Newell through the internet and quickly captured her heart. In an interview with Fox 5, Deborah admitted that she was impressed with him and he always knew exactly what to say. And after two months, the couple got married and Meehan moved in with his new wife. The daughters of Newell became suspicious of John when they discovered he was in prison before. They did not realize, however, that from 2005 until 2014, when he met Deborah, Meehan, according to the court records revealed by the Los Angeles Times, seduced, cheated, and terrorized many other women. Shortly after, Deborah found printouts from websites where various women called John the classic psychopath. Worried by this information, Newell moved away, but her husband eventually convinced her to return. Despite this, tension still remained in their marriage. John threatened her daughters, so Deborah in March of 2016 filed for divorce. John eventually then moved to Nevada, and he then threatened Deborah again. Nevertheless, she failed to obtain a restraining order, and in August, John attacked the daughter of Deborah Tara. And as Gofford remembers, it was not an equal fight. He was way taller and stronger, but the girl somehow managed to take the knife away from the attacker and stabbed him 13 times. Meham died in the hospital four days later. John's story inspired not only the series, but also a two-hour documentary, Dirty John, The Dirty Truth, which will premiere in January. Meanwhile, for Deborah Newell, the important thing is to warn other women and to show them that they should escape from these types of criminals. What do you guys think about this story? 
Have you watched the show? We're looking forward to reading your comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.